Hey guys, today is all about my DIY whipped body butter, so stay tuned. As we proceed to give you what you need. All right guys, here's a quick snapshot of what you're gonna need for this project. Please check the description box. I'll have everything listed in great detail there. All right, we're gonna start off with five ounces of shea butter and we are going to place that inside of a heat safe container inside of a double broiler so it can melt down. Now this melt down process can take a little time but patience is key. Once your shea butter is completely melted down, you are going to add in your option of a lightweight oil I'm using Sancha Ichi oil, which is very high in vitamin E and omega-3s, but you can use unrefined coconut oil, sweet almond oil, whatever you want, and you'll need two tablespoons of that. Now my second oil, I'm using jojoba oil, and I'm going to do one tablespoon of jojoba oil. Now I'm going to simply mix that and place it into the freezer for 10 to 20 minutes. Once your oil mixture has a nice thick Cool rim on it it's time to mix it I'm going to take a hand mixer with one mixing blade and I'm going to just simply mix it right in that heat safe container you're going to want to keep mixing until you get a nice opaque color such as this now it's time to add in the rest of our ingredients I'm going to add in my vegetable glycerin so one tablespoon of vegetable glycerin glycerin is great it's a humectric so it brings moisture back to your body Next, we're gonna be doing arrows root starch. Same as cornstarch, but you're gonna do small amounts and blend. The starch will help to incorporate the glycerin with the oils, and it will also help the skin absorption of this body butter. And last but not least is my vitamin E. One fourth teaspoon of vitamin E. I am using vitamin E to help my butter not go rancid, which means my shelf life will be about six months. Once everything is blended in, the butter will go back into the freezer and you're going to let it sit in there for about five to ten minutes you're then going to take the mixture out of the freezer and mix it on high for two minutes now if you're feeling really gung-ho you can repeat that step one more time for extra frothy and fluffy whipped butter now i'm showing you the option to add a fragrance oil if you're going to use a fragrance oil or an essential oil, a few drops is all you're going to need. Make sure that the oils are safe for skin. You're going to simply mix those in and take your spatula and simply mix it up so you can transport it over to an airtight container. That's it you guys. Not many ingredients. It does take a little bit of time due to the freezing and mixing and freezing and mixing and freezing and mixing. But it's so worth it. This is my family's favorite moisturizer, especially in the winter months. I use it on my son. It's just our go-to. And I mean, look how soft it is. Look at that. It literally melts just like butter. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and I will see you guys soon. Bye! Bye!